So today I'm presenting the, the three kind of big trio of the tech industry, which is Apple, Microsoft, and Google. And we're going to see what's the difference between the three products or the three products they offer. So today we're, we're trying to figure out what's the difference between the most common computer, phone, and tablet OSs, which is, and the, the most common ones are Mac OS. For computers, it's Mac OS and Windows. And for tablets or phones, it's iOS and Android. We're going to decipher between the physical products these operating systems work on and establish what kind of usage each operating system has and products it's best suited for. An OS is, is basically what your phone or tablet or computer runs on. It's uh, uh, any, all these products need an OS to run. And yeah. The main players, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. The two most prominent and common operating systems when it comes to computers, laptops, and desktops are Mac OS and Windows. Mac OS is an operating system used and developed by Apple. So all Apple products use um, app Mac OS, like iPads, um, Macs, iPhones, and Windows is an operating system developed by Microsoft, which can be found on anything that Windows, I mean, yeah, Microsoft owns. So Lenovo, Microsoft, Dell, Acer, Xboxes, Mac OS versus Windows. The two operating systems offer the same functionality, but the, the way they look is very different. I feel Apple Apple tries to go for a very simplistic but um, straightforward kind of um, approach. And Windows is very custom. Everything on Windows is, is very customizable. So the difference is, um, Mac's difference is, is softer, simpler, and, and just, yeah, just simpler. And the navigation, Mac OS is best recognized for its dock system. Finder is used on Mac OS and it's not too different from File Explorer and integration. If you have a, a, a Mac, a MacBook, it can connect to your Apple Watch, to your iPhone, to essentially anything that, that's Mac, that's Apple, can connect to each other and like interact with each other. And security. Apple is, is always seen as safer because you can't really mess with anything that Apple owns or anything that Apple provides. And it's, um, it's, Apple has full control of, of the hardware and software, which means uh, it's easier to implement new um, security features. The differences between Windows and, and Mac is that the Windows squares off edges. It looks very clean, has a lot of blues, and is very customizable. The navigation, the start menu in the is the main fixture of Windows navigation. File Explorer is essentially the same as, um, as Finder and integration only available through computers. So crossing between devices is not as seamless. For a fee, Windows can be integrated with uh, desktops, laptops, tablets, and phones through Microsoft 365 and OneDrive, which, which is a paid for subscription. And security, gaps between hardware and software can leave more room for error. error. Extra antivirus is a must with Windows. Windows computers can come with extra security protection that you can enable easily through Windows security. So with Windows, it's, it's kind of, it's at, as it is customizable, it's, it's easy to get viruses, customizing your, your downloading things off the internet, and it's easier to get a virus on, um, on a Windows. What is it best used for? Many people prefer Mac for its simple design, which makes it easier for people to, to navigate and use. And those in creative fields lean more heavily towards Mac as it is better suited for a lot of creative software used for video and photo editing and design. All operating system integration across Apple products also means they're there for people who move around a lot and switch between devices. Windows is, is very customizable and in terms of, um, of appearance and personalization. It runs on any computer that is not Apple, meaning that there's a lot more options for you for your actual physical device. Windows is particularly suited for gaming. With Office Suite being Microsoft, built, it may also be argued that Windows is best suited for those looking to use their computer for more practical purposes. The hardware on Mac. MacBook Air is one of the one of Apple's two laptop options. MacBook Airs are su super small and portable. They are not as powerful as other Mac products, making them best suited for casual computer users. The MacBook Pro is, more, is the more powerful laptop option. It comes in two physical sizes and multiple RAM sizes. This is best you, this is best for people using more software, but who still have to be portable. 
The iMac is, is Apple's only desktop. It comes in two physical sizes. It is best for at-home use, but they're but also good for heavy-duty use. It is especially favored among creatives using powerful softwares for things like sound, photo, video, and photo editing. These are the three the three options that that Apple has in terms of um, computers. PCs for for Microsoft ranges drastically from Dell, HP, Lenovo, Acer, Asus, MSI, Samsung, Microsoft are just a few of the, of the brands that Microsoft operates on. And these are Microsoft, all the, all the different, these are only some of the, the laptops that Microsoft, they use Microsoft OS. Computers, the best way to describe the difference between a Mac and a PC is that there are two different ways of thinking. Macs are seen as trendier and cooler, whereas Windows are, are seen more by the books and Square, which is just a matter of how they marketed themselves to attract different user bases. In reality, if you're if you're using a computer to simply access the internet, both are will do the same, and both are a fine are a fine um, option. The difference really comes down to preference and, and the look or feel of each product. So it, it doesn't really matter. It's just what you like more, what you prefer. And for phones. The only two competitors for the OS are Apple and Android, which is owned by Google. iOS is the, is the operating system developed and used exclusively by Apple for iPhone and iPad. Android is an operating system developed by Google, which can be found on basically any other tablet that's not iPhone. So Google, Pixel, Samsung phones, LG phones, Motorola, Nokia, etc. iOS versus Android. As with computers, the two operating system systems offer the same functionality, allowing you to use your device for calling and messaging, as well as giving you different ac access to, to different applications in the internet. But they look and feel, they feel, look and work a bit differently. The differences. iOS is a closed system. The interface will look and work the same across IO all iOS devices. The eStore. iOS uses the Apple App Store, which will mostly which were mostly the same, but some different apps than the Play Store. Integration. If you stick with Apple for your other devices, integration across them is, seam is seamless using your Apple ID. Voice Assistant. Siri is what is available on iOS, and it is less powerful than its counterpart. For Android, is Android is an open system, which means you can kind of mess with it if you know how to. And Android is open source, so different products can adjust can adjust it to fit their hardware. So it might look different on a Samsung than a Google phone. For the eStore, Android uses Google Play, which is Google the Google Play Store, which is which will mostly be the same but has some different apps than the App Store. Integration. Integration with your other apps has to happen through some sort of cloud storage system like Google Drive or OneDrive. For the voice assistant, Android uses Google Assistant, which is more powerful than Siri. Which is which what each is best for. Making a choice between these really comes down to integration, which is Apple is really good at integration. So Apple, you can move from a from a MacBook to your iPad to your iPhone, and everything will kind of be the same as long as you have the, the same um, Apple ID linked to everything. And there's no there's no equivalent for iMessage on Android, but there's Google Duo, which is comparable to FaceTime. The physical device for many the OS play, plays less a part in their buying decision with phones and tablets and the, then does the physical product, the camera. Many devices in a, are in a constant race to have the best camera, the hardware. When it comes down to hardware iOS only, when it comes down to hardware, iOS only operates on two, which is the iPhone and the iPad. And the, the hardware on, Sam, on Android is anything that's essentially not an iPhone. And which all these run on, on Android. Many people who are Apple users prefer to stay within their lane when it comes to their phones and tablets. But when it comes to phones and tablets, for many, the physical device is more important than the operating system. The strongest competition between these devices comes down to their camera quality. Who's at the top? Who's at the top can change from year to year. Right now, the standings are iPhone, Samsung Galaxy, and the Google Pixel, which are all pretty comparable. 